the president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. To which Bobby responded, sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm, said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. Mr. Trump then used his free hand to lunge towards Bobby Engel. And Mr. when Mr. Renato had recounted this story to me, he had motion towards his clavicles. On Tuesday, the House committee investigating the January 6th attacks held their most explosive sessions yet. In a previously unscheduled emergency hearing, a former aide to Trump Chief of Staff Mark Meadows revealed that the president was even more involved in the insurrection than many previously thought. Meadows aide Cassidy Hutchinson testified that Trump and allies like Rudy Giuliani and Mark Meadows were planning to stir up trouble days before right-wing extremists descended on Washington. And Trump made one thing perfectly clear to everyone. He wanted to visit the Capitol himself on January 6th in order to directly pressure Republican senators to keep him in power. But once Trump supporters started showing up outside the White House, even Trump's own legal department started having serious second thoughts. That's likely because, as Hutchinson testified and the video evidence shows, Many of Trump's most loyal supporters arrived at the White House that day armed to the teeth. As the committee showed, the Secret Service seized brass knuckles, flagpoles, knives, clubs, and spears from supporters. It even seized an AR-15 from one supporter outside the White House gate. And once the MAGA crowd realized they'd have to sacrifice their weapons if they entered the rally, most decided to skip Trump's event and march directly to the Capitol. Trump was furious. He demanded Secret Service remove the metal detectors from the White House gates and allow his supporters in. Let them in, he insisted. They're not here to hurt me. Let the people in. They can march to the Capitol from here. Things quickly spiraled out of control. Trump incited the remaining protesters and they began to march to the Capitol. He promised to meet them there soon. The Secret Service then moved Trump into the backseat of a Chevy Suburban, often used in the presidential motorcade. It was in that car that Trump would have his most dangerous meltdown of the day. Trump demanded his head of security, Robert Engel, send the motorcade to the Capitol. First, he planned to rally with rioters outside the Capitol complex. Then he planned to enter the building, which had already at that point been breached by rioters, and walk into the now evacuated House chamber. There, Trump hoped to rally his insurrectionists to victory in a scene straight out of a fascist fever dream. But that never happened, and Robert Engel is a big reason why. Engel routed Trump's car back to the White House instead of heading to the Capitol as Trump demanded. When Trump found out, he exploded at Engel. I'm the effing president. Take me to the Capitol now, Trump said. He then lurched forward from the back seat of the SUV and grabbed the steering wheel. When Engel tried to break Trump's grip away, Trump used his free hand to grab at Engel's throat. In any other presidency, Cassidy Hutchinson's allegations would simply be too wild to believe. But there are two major points in her favor here. First, she told everything under oath. If she's lying, and that's an easy thing to prove, she goes to jail. And second, not a single Republican who claims she's lying is willing to make that same statement under oath as she did. Talk is cheap. Perjury is not. Hutchinson's testimony reveals a president violently out of control, more so than even many in his own administration knew at the time. And by directly implicating her boss, Mark Meadows, in Trump's scheme to meet rioters at the Capitol, Hutchinson has significantly raised pressure on Meadows to testify publicly before the committee, something he has so far resisted. Like others who've testified before the committee, Cassidy Hutchinson knew what she was seeing was wrong. Her testimony also destroys any claim Trump officials can make to being surprised by the violence that unfolded at the Capitol. Hutchinson summed it up best when sharing a warning given to her by former Trump legal counsel Pat Cipollone. Please, Cassidy, don't let him go up to the Capitol. We're going to get charged with every crime imaginable. That prediction may still come true.